Judge Ricardo Samaniego cited rising COVID-19 numbers and drought conditions, sparking a ban on fireworks just days before 4th of July celebration. Joining us for extra perspective on the order is Judge Samaniego. Judge, thank you so much for taking time to talk to us. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for having me on. It's always a pleasure to be on the station. Thank you. Can you let me know, can you give me some more perspective as to why you issued this order? You talked about rising COVID numbers. Are they that alarming? Yes, yes, they are. I mean, when you've got, uh, we thought 233 was uh, our highest number, then we had 284 over the weekend, uh, and we had the highest in the whole United States, the highest single-day numbers. Uh, and then we were always the, the outcome of what happens in Houston, San Antonio, Austin, and when what's happening over there, it triggers what happens over here. And so we're always very cautious that... Uh, uh, they lead the way most of the time. The economy, as is, is, you know, I had uh, almost pleaded with the governor to slow down the opening of the economy here in El Paso. Yep. And I think we're now at the point where, where we expect it, and that is the economy opening a little faster than our ability to flatten the curve. You talked about the business, but uh, you have a lot of business owners who have purchased all these fireworks, and a lot of people have already purchased those fireworks. First of all, how long does the order extend to, and how will these uh, business owners be compensated? Well, you know, it's, it was hard wrenching because the vendors had done such a great job of trying to uh, work with us and then trying the best that they could. They had the, you know, plans for social distancing. They, they paid for brochures. They, uh, they did a, a lot of things. They really were very cooperative, uh, but that was before the numbers started increasing. And uh, so when, when we saw that uh, people were really, you know, we knew what happened last year, 35, 40,000 people showing up. Uh, and I, I know it's difficult, but uh, when you think about the number of lives that you're going to save, the number of heartaches and, and the suffering that people go through because they have the uh, the virus and then right. the potential of passing it on to someone else. Uh, if you look at all of that, uh, it, it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't help a lot from the economy standpoint, but from public health, I think it's the right thing to do. All right, Judge, thank you so much for taking time to, for uh, taking time to talk to us. I appreciate it and good night.